All right, so it's now time for Mind Your Language. And uh, let me bring in Willis, the word master, joining us live from Kisumu County. Willis, how are you today or this evening? Fine, thanks, Betty. You look uh, good and, uh, you know, always on fire when it comes to Friday briefing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Willis, for that. All right, so how about we start with yes. the word on the street? Restaurante, restaurante, restaurante. Restaurata, restaurata, restaurata. Restoria, restoria, restoria. Restoratia, restoratia, restoratia. Prestrota, prestrota, prestrota. Restorotia, restorotia, restorotia. La stareta, la stareta. La Starreta. Okay, Restaurant. 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 I'm a restaurant. 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 Listaritas. Litaritas. Litaritas. Okay, uh, Willis, how do we say that word? Uh, I won't even try it. The, the guy with the dreadlocks just got me. Rastarata. <laughs> but, you know, I won't laugh because I don't know. I'm not even sure how to go but about it. It happens, it. but uh, <laughs> there is no problem, Betty. You see, I said when it comes to laughing for the sake of learning, yeah. that is normal. What I've been trying to say or what I occasionally say is it's not good for somebody to laugh at another person yeah. when you're not sure. <laughs> Whether you can pronounce it, you know, correctly yeah. or inaccurately. But Betty, this is a very tricky word. Definitely. Given to anybody. Yeah. What you say is restorata. Restorata. <laughs> now you say restorata. So Rest a restorata is a person who owns and manages, you know, mm -hmm. a restaurant. Yeah. So you say so and so is a restorata. So it's a tricky one. And remember, mm. when we talk of restaurant, you can also say restaurant. Rest Some of these words can be very tricky, Betty, especially mm. on the streets. Just, just uh, talk to us about that. Willis, did you say restaurateur? <laughs> Is that it? Yes, okay. restorata. Okay, Restorata. All right. Yes. Okay, all right. At least I'm awake. I'm not sleeping. I'm listening keenly. All right, Willis. Let's uh, move on to another word on, the, on my list. Uh, do we say energizer, energizer? Because previously, Willis, you've talked to us about electricity. Yes. Now, mm. when you come to this word, Betty, in fact, uh, it's from the word energy uh, energy uh. so what we should avoid is saying energizer energizer okay. that is not accurate we say a eh, energizer an energizer so that one is you know acceptable so you say energize energize energizer energize. energy so e no you avoid ina ina okay. no you say ena ena Energizer. All right, Willis, got it. Moving on to this other word. Do we say yes. crematorium or crematorium? You say cre, crematorium. Mm, okay, crematorium. crematorium. We should not say crema. Yes, cre, crematorium. All right, Willis. Moving on to another word. I've just, I just said this word a few minutes uh, ago during the bulletin, uh, the business bulletin. Is it to siphon or to siphon? You can use siphon. Okay. If I got you right. Yes. You are talking of S I P H O N. Yeah. That is to siphon, like siphoning yes. fuel. Okay. To siphon. All siphon. Right. To you siphon. You can also say fun, but fun is also acceptable. Siphon. Siphon. Yeah? I'll be saying siphon. Sounds fancier. <laughs> Siphon. siphon, siphon or siphon. Right. All right, Willis, moving on to the, the other words. And uh, we have 
beleaguered. Is that the correct pronunciation of that word? Beleaguered, yes, beleaguered. That is the way to say that word. Okay. Belie, beleaguered, mm -hmm. beleaguered. All right. Lee. You have the long vowel sound e in lee, beleaguered. Okay, we just got it. Beleaguered. All right. Moving on to the other yes. one. Um, you hear about people saying taxation, taxation. You know, is it x or taxation? Yeah. Which is which? You say is? taxation. In fact, that word has no voiced sound. Some people find themselves saying taxation. Uh -huh. Some say taxation, which is <laughs> wrong. We say taxation. Tax. Taxation. So tag, no. Tax. Okay. Taxation. All right, Willis, got it. Moving on to the S, to this other word, do you say to dissect, dissect? Um, how do we go about that one? <clears throat> oh, that one has uh, two acceptable pronunciations. What we call now the alternatives, Betty. Okay. So you can say dissect, and you can also say dissect. All right. Just like yes. finance and finance. Okay. That's, dissect, uh, that, uh -huh. dissect. That also goes for data and data. Is that correct? Which one? Data, like data or data. Do you say are those two words yeah. correct? You say data and uh -huh. data. And you can say data. data. You can also say data. Okay, Willis. Moving on to this other word. This one, I'll spell it out. C-A-V-E-A-T. Caveat, caveat. How do we say that one, Willis? You say caveat. Caveat. All right. That is normally a formal word, you know, commonly used in, you know, matters law and all that. Uh-huh. Caveat. Caveat. All right. Moving on to this other word, Willis. And yes. uh, this time round, it's uh, our feedback question. It comes from Dina Chepchumba. Um, he's, she's asking about this word, premature, premature. How do we say that one? Betty, that one may be, you know, it may sound as a very big surprise to many people, but... You know, we say premature, premature. Huh? You can also say premature, premature, premature. <laughs> Willis, if you say so pre premature, who will understand? Would wonder, where do we get premature? Yeah. So that premature, get it from me, Betty. That is the standard pronunciation of that word under RP. But it's not commonly used locally. You see, mm -hmm. sometimes we have what we call now the world Englishes or regional, you know, pronunciations. Some words, you know, can be commonly pronounced in a way in a certain place. When you come now to the standard pronunciation, if you can remember when we started with the word tortoise, many people were like, what? <laughs> it's not tortoise. You know, that is what is commonly used locally. Yeah, tortoise. The word is tortoise. Totals. Now, this one also, we say premature or premature. So the two pronunciations can be used for those ones. And Betty, if you don't mind, premature. there is the name that you've mentioned there. Mm -hmm. Is it D-I-N-A-H? Mm-hmm. It's, I said it wrongly. Yeah, it's not... D-I-N-A-H. That is Dina. What? Dina. Normally, we are used okay. to saying Dina locally, but it's normally Dina. Dina. So I think that should be somebody, <gasps> Dina Chepchumba. Oh. Wow, that's a surprise, Willis. Dina. Yes. Okay. I know. It's, it's it a... happens, Betty. Dina Chepchumba. Aha. Okay. It's just the same way, you know, you said it's not Beatrice, but yes. Beatrice. <laughs> Beatrice. Pardon? It's just the same. Yeah, I yeah. told you the other day, it's, you know, what we see with us, we would say Beatrice yes. locally, but the name is actually Beatrice. We yeah. also have Beatify, mm. not Beatify. Mm -hmm. You okay. get that? Yes, I get so that, Willis. So we also have Diana, not Diana. <laughs> Diana, not Diana. Yeah. So okay. Dina, not Dina. So wow, some of these okay. names are a bit tricky, Betty. Very tricky, actually. All right, Willis. Um, what do you have yes. any other surprise so word maybe for us? I would. Uh, I have uh, Amos on Soti uh, wanted to know how to say. You know, we have the word sport. Sport, especially in the British English, yeah. we talk of sport, which is uncountable. But in American English, you would say sports. So it's about, you know, personal or institutional preference or choice. Mm. Somebody can use a sport if you are sticking to the British English, but you can also use sports. That is if you are inclined to the American English. Then James Moore, we say way. 
lavender simiyu, it's gem. G-E-M in English is gem. gem. But those who come from Sierra may also raise a question, Betty, because there is a location called game. Game, I think it's also a constituency, if I'm not wrong. Uh, that is G-E-M -E mm. in English. We talk of gem, like gemstones yeah. and all that. And we have Deno Ogal, you say Kanja. Kanja, not Konjua. So oh. Kanja. Kanja. Then Evans Bosire. Kanja, to Kanja, not to Konjua. <laughs> okay. Then Evans Bosire, you say gubernatorial. Gubernatorial, not Gaba. And we also say <laughs> Uber. Uber, not Abba. <laughs> Then, Betty, there are people who are very excited about your program. Oh, really? <laughs> like we have Ken Kowo, Milton Dibogo, and Zina, if you like, Zena uh -huh. Asnath of Nazarene University, Eldoret. Okay. Then Francis Lopao, Edwin Emokule, and Jackson Ongoro, plus a lady here who calls herself Nelly Nyakan, if I've gotten the pronunciation right. Uh, okay. But the point is, we have always to say, Thank you so much for loving the program. Willis, then the surprise word for tonight, Betty. Willis, you know those, uh, you know, they're called Mafans Kibao. Maybe I can just teach you maybe a bit of, you know, <laughs> Sheng, Kibao, Mafans Kibao. Betty, can you come up on that again? Can you say it again? Mafans Kibao. <laughs> Mafans Kibao. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's because, you know, when you do some good work, you know, something that is, you know, what you're doing is quite captivating, uh, then always be there. You say Kibao. Kibao. <laughs> Mafans like Kibao. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Betty, okay. our surprise word for tonight. Mm. We have the past tense or past participle of the verb eek. Eek is E K E. Yes. To eek, a living or to eke out a living by farming and all that. Mm -hmm. So when we have E-K-E-D, we say eked. He eked a living or he eked out. Eked, not eked. Many people would say to eke out a living, which is wrong. You say to eke out a living. So the past tense or the past participle of that verb eek is eked. Eked. We should avoid saying act. Act is a wrong pronunciation of this word, Betty. Okay. To eke out a living, he or she eked out a living. Then finally, the confusing words. Mm. We have the upper one is magnet. Magnet. But when you come to the lower word that ends in A-T-E, yeah. you now say Magnet, magnet. There is that slight vowel glide. Magnet. A, A. Uh. Nate. Nate. The magnate. other one is net with uh -huh. the pure sound A. Uh -huh. But the lower one, Nate. Okay. A business, magnet. Okay. Magnet. So, that is all from me, Betty. Eh, Willis, sour. Got it. Those words tonight, <laughs> premature, prema, was that the word? Premature? <laughs> Premature. Premature. Premature, but what we are used to also <laughs> can be, you, you can also say premature. Okay. Premature okay. or premature. Even uh, uh, our cameraman, Mburu Nicholas, is saying Willis. Like English, sana you. Hi, hi, Willis. Thank you so much, <laughs> Willis. There, always a pleasure having you on the show, teaching us those difficult pronunciations, uh, like the first word, the word on the My street. Pleasure, yeah. All right, Willis. You can always get him on his Twitter handle at Willis Cheng One if you have uh, further questions, questions, not question. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. You can it's always catch him. Yeah, right, Willis. I'm a good student, Willis. All right, so that's it for Mind the Language tonight. Uh, catch Willis again next.